Can you believe it? Can you can you believe it? Um, your girl finally washed her hair. Oh, I'm not a hobo anymore. Ah. Oh my goodness, the difference a good wash day makes. Ooh, ooh, because y'all saw last week's video. I was looking a little bit rough. I showed y'all my tips on how I get my life together when I cannot get my life together, aka wash my hair. Anyway, so today I'm just going to show you guys how I get this effortless, deep, wave, curly hair on natural hair. If a twist out and a braid out would have a baby and the definition would be soft but intense at the same time, this is what I would call it. I've been wearing this for a few days so it's not a good example. This is an example of what I mean. And I want to show you guys how I do it. So if you want to know, keep watching. Today's video is going to be a collaboration. Yes, for collaborations. I want to collaborate a whole lot more in 2019. So I'm super excited about this. I'm collaborating today with a Curls of Natural. I'm ho I hope I'm saying it well. It's a Instagram page. A very poppin' Instagram page, by the way. This video is gonna have two parts. I'm gonna show you guys how I did my hair here, but I'm using these products. The products by Grow Healthy in the Shea and Coconut collection. So, Curls All Natural sent these products to me so I could test them, and my review is gonna be on their channel. So, I just wanna take some time and say thank you, Curls All Natural, and um, family. A family squad can we go to their YouTube page because the collab is gonna be on their YouTube page and show the video that I did some love I would really appreciate it watch the video give it a thumbs up and a comment under there with the hashtag family and then I know it's you and um, I'm excited so if you want to see what I think about the products that I'm gonna use for this hairstyle um, watch that video they are a lot different than the products that I normally use so all I can say is I have some thoughts I have some thoughts but the good thing is I'm gonna say it up front they're a lot more affordable than the products that I normally use so if you've been thinking like these products were breaking the bank I need some affordable products go check out that video I'm talking a lot more than I wanted to um let's just get into the video I have to say one of the reasons why I decided to really use this line for um, this hairstyle is because of what it promises. It promises to fight frizz. It has been raining so much in the Netherlands lately, so much that I would do my hair and it would poof up before I even get to a place where I have to be, which is annoying. But these products claim to fight frizz. They do it at they do it by adding silicones, which is the reason why I don't normally reach for products like this but I have to say I did like this one that's the only spoiler I'm giving for the rest you gotta watch the, the video on the other channel okay so to achieve this hairstyle I basically started out with my normal wash day I did the steps that I normally do the only difference is I had other products so um what I did, how I used the products, you're going to see in the other video. But I started on wet hair today. I have to say, I don't usually start this style on wet hair, which is typically like me. When I want to show you guys what I do, while I'm filming, I just decide to switch it up. But I started on wet hair today, and normally what I would do when I start on wet hair, I do what you see in this clip. I braid my hair into smaller braids just so that it'll dry with the product in there. The braids weren't even too big. I had like eight braids. They weren't too big, weren't too small, so I let them dry. Um, when I take out those braids, what I normally do is I blow dry my hair, y'all. I basically, when these braids are dry or 70 to 80 percent dry, I blow out my hair. So, that's not what I did today because I was lazy. Yes. Yes, I was lazy, okay? This is a recurring trend. 
that I'm going to beat in 2019. But I was lazy, so I didn't do that. What I did instead is I combed out my hair with a comb instead of blowing it out. And then I re-braided my hair. So I basically did my version of a heatless blowout. So I basically did that. But normally, I would blow out my hair like you would see in this clip. And then I would start the process of getting this curl pattern. But normally you would start with blown out hair. So when you start with blow out, blown out hair, you can just do the steps that you see me doing here. So actually, what this hairstyle is, it's just a mixture, a mixture of a chunky braid out on blow dried hair and with a chunky twist in the front. I started to braid up my hair again now that it was dry and I used flat out frizz fighter. So on blow dried hair or dry hair, I go and I comb out the section to give me a little bit more stretch and then I braid a medium sized section and I don't do it too big first of all because I want the length and second of all when I'm gonna take out the braid and the twist I'm not gonna separate it so I don't want to do it too big or else I'm gonna have gaps in my head I don't want that that's not cute but that's what I do for my entire head and in the front I just do three or four chunky twists and then I let that dry so it's super easy as you guys can see. Um, as I let that dry the next day when I go to take it out, like I said, I don't separate my hair. So I take out the braids and the three sections that I'm left with, that's gonna be it. I take out my twist in the front and I don't separate it. And what this does it is so cute because especially like this time i did the twist a little bit smaller i wish i had done it bigger though i hadn't done this style in a while so i wish i had done it bigger so it would give the waves that i want and that's basically how i get this hairstyle it really looks different today than what i normally do but that's just because i didn't blow dry my hair i played myself i played myself I should have blow dried my hair but I just wanted to leave you guys with this quick tip of how I've been doing my hair I've been sharing it on Instagram this picture I did it this picture I did it this picture I did it as well and I've been liking it I've been getting a lot of compliments anyway I hope you enjoyed these uh, I don't even know if it was a tip or just like a tutorial or just me showing you what I did but there you have it I hope you enjoyed it um, let me know if you know any good products uh, to fight humidity. That would be really nice to know. Um, if you want to know what I think about these products for humidity, once again, go to the Curls on Naturel YouTube. I will have it linked down below. I'll probably have the video in the iCard as well. And please go show me some love. Go show the channel some love. And uh, look out for me on the Curls on Naturel Instagram page. To show me some love there as well. Everything will be linked down below. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video. I don't know what that was. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new to my channel. Please do subscribe to become part of the family. Which is Surinamese for family. And that's what we call our squad over here you know. Turn on your notification bells. Because it's honestly true what they say. YouTube is playing people. But in 2019, it's not going to be playing me in the name of Jesus. Okay? So turn on your notification bells. And I will see you next week in the next video. And you ain't got to wait that long. Uh, if you got abandonment issues, you know, you ain't got to wait that long for the next video. Okay? I'm going to put the curl on natural video here. And I'm going to put like a previous video here. And I will see you there. Bye!